Depending on how dysphagia is defined and measured, anywhere between 20% to 100% of people with Parkinson's disease will develop dysphagia. So that being said, you're likely going to have some dysphagia goals for your patients who have Parkinson's disease. Part of your dysphagia treatment can be to teach your patient how to do swallowing maneuvers. These are ways of changing the timing and or strength of the swallow. It's best to complete an instrumental assessment to confirm that the maneuver is doing what you want it to do, but the purpose of the maneuvers is to compensate for swallowing impairments. Let's talk about three different maneuvers that also act as exercises and can help improve your patients with Parkinson's disease swallowing safety. Number one, the effortful swallow. The goal is to improve tongue base retraction and reduce pharyngeal residue. Here's how to teach your patient how to do it. Sit up straight, gather saliva in your mouth, and swallow while squeezing your throat as hard as you can. You could also pretend that you're swallowing a whole grape. And then you repeat, usually to fatigue. Number two, the super superglottic swallow. The goal is to improve airway protection and airway clearance to reduce the risk of laryngeal penetration and aspiration. Here's how to do it. Take a deep breath and hold it tightly while bearing down. Continue to hold your breath while bearing down and bear down as you swallow. Cough immediately after swallowing but before taking a breath. Then immediately swallow hard again before taking a breath. Now take a breath. And finally, number three, the Mendelssohn Maneuver. The goal is to improve airway protection and airway clearance to reduce the risk of laryngeal penetration and aspiration. Here's how to do it. Place your fingers gently on your throat, swallow your saliva, and feel your Adam's apple move up and down. Swallow again, but halfway through the swallow, hold up your Adam's apple using the muscles under your chin and repeat. So those were three maneuvers that also act as swallowing exercises. There are also other ways to treat dysphagia and Parkinson's disease, things like postural techniques, diet modifications, and other modalities. Visit adultspeechtherapy.co for a helpful guide for speech language pathologists.